Tyre, welcome to Charlton. How does it feel to be a Charlton player? Um, really good, really positive. Um, just looking forward to getting going. Back down south, um, you spent the last couple of years up in Blackburn. How nice is it for you to be back home? It's good, it's a positive, obviously, around family. Um, my mum that loves to come to the games and stuff, it's a lot easier for her to get to the games and just around a familiar environment. And I know, as well as it being a familiar environment, a few of the lads you're familiar, familiar with, aren't you? Um, who is it that you know in the squad? Um, Mandela, um, I grew up like down the road from him. And there's a few that I've, um, so Connor and Payne, I was at Lincoln with. So obviously that helps to settle in. What kind of conversations have you had with them ahead of your move? Just about um, where to live and you know the normal stuff. And then also just speaking about the gaffer. And obviously um, a lot of the things have been positive that I've heard. Time at Lincoln, you, you touched on there. Is it fair to say that? season at Lincoln, I think it was the 2020-21 season. Was that your, your best season in pro football so far, would you say? Um, yeah, I would. Um, obviously, I wrapped up a lot of games and that's where you get your confidence from. So when I got going, um, I felt like I could just play my best football. I was really comfortable. And is that where you're kind of looking to get back to here? Yeah, of course. Like, it's, it's not the longest career, so as many games as you can rack up, it's really important. Um, that's what I'm looking to do, yeah. You spent the last couple of years at Blackburn, um, you said off camera last season was maybe a little bit frustrating for you. Um, how much drive and determination does that give you coming here? Yeah, um, you work week in, week out to, to play games, so not being able to get that opportunity for the majority of the season is obviously frustrating. Um, so yeah, I'm really just trying, to, just trying to make up for lost time, I guess. And when you do get out on the pitch, what can Charlton fans that haven't seen you play before expect from you? Um, I would say I'm aggressive, um, creative, and yeah, just like work hard. Played here once before with Lincoln in that 2021 season. Uh, there weren't fans here though, because of the, the COVID restrictions. How much are you, having walked around today, looking forward to playing here again, but this time with a crowd supporting you? Yeah, obviously it's, um, it was a different time then, I guess, like with no fans. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this, the energy that the players can really have. And I'm sure you would have spoken to the manager, Dean Holden, as well. What kind of things has he said to you about what he's trying to build here? Um, he's just been really positive with me, to be fair. Not trying to oversell it or anything. Just saying that, look, obviously you need to get going again. And I feel like I can give you that platform. And it does feel like an exciting time here for Charlton. What are you hoping to achieve during your time at our club? Um, as I said, I feel like I've missed out on a lot of um, game time. So I'd say first and foremost, that's what I'm looking for. But of course, to get that, I have to be at my best, so really just finding my peak again. And from a team's point of view, what are you hoping to achieve next season? Um, of course, like, once you get going in the league, anything can happen. And I'm sure like, there's a few um, boys in here that, well, maybe more, but there's a, a group that want to push on and be competing for promotion. And just lastly, going back to that season at, at Lincoln, um, to reach the playoff final, didn't they? What? What, in your mind, was key to that success for Lincoln? Um, just the togetherness, the sort of hunger. It's quite a young group, but everyone was sort of um, ambitious and just really wanted to achieve something. And as I said, I wouldn't say we went into that season thinking, yeah, we're going to get playoffs or automatics. It's just getting the work done day in, day out, and then things happen for you. And how hopeful are you of, of replicating that kind of season here? Yeah, of course. It's, uh, I'm, I'm here to compete, so just getting getting in and obviously mixing with the boys as soon as possible will help me find my feet and then obviously together we can all push on. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you.